Mrs. Carmel always seemed to find a way to circumvent the robo-docs at the surgery and insist on seeing Dr. Phillips in person. Not that human doctors got that personal with their patients these days, as touching during physical examinations was largely deemed unnecessary. She was defiantly old school about everything. Dr. Phillips might have told you that he indulged her whims because she reminded him of his fussy mother, now deceased. The truth was that Mrs. Carmel had gold-level credit with Big Pharma, so he was always happy to see some of her comparative wealth redistributed. How can I help you? You remember, Doctor, that I said I was hypersensitive to modern machinery, all those electronic airwaves making my brain fuzzy. Phillips tapped at his screen, for which I prescribed some internaline. If you need a repeat dose, you could have simply logged on or, or phoned. The thing is, Doctor, that the internaline tablets make me sleepy. I mean, it's okay, I'm at home most of the time, but I'm dozing through the afternoon and missing all my favourite shows. Plug It, Dead or Not Dead, The Shirt Sleeves Are Coming, Humans Under the Hammer... No worries, Mrs. C. I'll authorise a course of non-dozathon. That'll perk you right up. That's good, but I had those ones before, you see, and they upset my tummy. I'm not as robust digestion-wise as I used to be. None of us are, Mrs. C. Or should I say none of us is? Never quite grasped that rule. I think a couple of bottles of settled stomach at ease are in order. Banana or honey flavour? Banana. I've had that stuff before. It repeated on me. Say it again. It repeated on me. <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'll need something to stop the burping. Epiglottifan is most effective. Quite expensive, though. Usually reserved for TV hosts, actors, politicians, judges and the like. People who can't afford to belch in public and who can afford to pay for prevention. Surreptitiously, he checked Mrs. Carmel's credit rating once more. How would she fund all these medicines? Oh, that was OK. She had signed full equity release for current and future medical care. Everything was stacking up neatly against the healthy, though now decreasing value, of her semi-detached property in Letchworth. You can't take it with you, he supposed. And um, maybe some Nocomil to help me sleep. And then that slow-release drug thingy, up, 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 and oh, up and at him again, capsules, Mrs. C. Sure. His finger hovered over the authorised print icon. Big Pharma's shares would be rocketing once this order was fulfilled. Is there anything else you require, Mrs. Carmel? Any further ingredients for her personalised chemical soup, her prescription drug cocktail? Yes, there is, Doctor. It's a bit delicate, but with all those wonderfully helpful pharmaceuticals to swallow, I'll be exceeding my water ration. I have just the thing. I'll have to add it on as an extra dispensary expense. Here you go. From the fingerprint access only, secret double drawer beneath his desk, he produced a 500 milliliter bottle labelled helpfully, though provocatively, H2O, guaranteed genuine, no placebos. As he passed the container over, Mrs. Carmel's hand briefly touched his and he received a frisson of shock. Not the sexual thrill he experienced when he was getting naked with his robot home help Nikitita. No, a feeling that was unusual, unexpected, uncomfortable and downright unhygienic. The dirty old biddy invading his personal space and infecting him like this. He'd need anti-back, clear me blood, skin soothering, some tranquilizers. He'd be sure to add them all to her bill. Thank you.